Praise God, praise God. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Hallelujah. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are ready for tomorrow. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I will be doing it live. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Press tag. Press share. Because what I'm getting ready to do and how I'm getting ready to do this is different. It's not going to be like your normal services. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. What God has me doing in this season it's almost like a training center. I'm going to train people. I'm going to preach a little bit. Don't get it twisted. But I'm going to teach more. I, I, I want people, God wants people to be very strong in the Lord. God wants you to learn how to have biblical applications. A lot of you don't know your Bible. I'm just being real. Come on, somebody. A lot of you don't know it. You know of it. Come on, somebody. But, but you have not gotten that Bible, dissected that Bible. That's why many preachers and pastors and prophets are fooling you guys because you don't know the Word of God. So the first thing this church is going to be doing is biblical applications, learning the Bible, learning what God said, what God didn't say, how God flow, how God doesn't flow. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. What's of God, what's not of God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Learning how to have wisdom, discernment, teaching you how to spiritual warfare, how to war in the spirit. A lot of you don't know how to war in the spirit. Let me tell you something. A lot of you don't like to pray in the spirit. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. This, this, thing, this thing, as we call Christians... You got to understand, it's not just a, a name. It is about doing what Christ did, what Jesus Christ did. And what he did, he prayed, he fasted, he taught. He taught a lot. That's what y'all don't understand. Yeah, he did a lot of miracles. But most of all, Jesus taught. Jesus taught the disciples how to walk, how to talk, how to walk in power, how to possess his power, how to stay strong in the Lord. A lot of you don't know how to stay strong. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm just being real. And how you know? Because when trials, tests, situations come, most of you get quick, get mad quick like that. You don't know how to take that breath back up and pray. Let me, let, let me just pray. I'm telling you, I, 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 I went through this walk. I know what I'm talking about. And maybe, just maybe, that's why God, that I've been in ministry 22 years. And maybe that's just the reason that I had to learn so much. Go to Bible college, go to this, this, this. Learn and be taught so I can teach you guys how to stand strong. You know what? It's not about being the best. It's about giving God your best. It's about having a strong foundation in God. A lot of you don't have a strong foundation. How you know? Because soon as something come, you get mad. As soon as, something, as soon as the test come, a trial. Oh, God, why? Why me, God? Why? Instead of asking, okay, God, wait a minute. If I know that you're God, and at the end of that thing, that you're the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and end, that means if you allow this test, this trial, there's something you want me to learn. There's something you want to push out of me. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And most of the time, no, it's not going to feel good. I promise you it's not going to feel good. Because it's a pruning thing. Is it, What is pruning? Growing you up. Getting you mature for the things of God. A lot of you, you love God. You truly do. But guess what? You don't know how to live for God. You don't know how to walk in the Lord. You don't know how to forgive in the Lord. You don't know how to stay strong in the Lord. And I, I know because this is you can see Facebook. You can see Lucas on Facebook. Church people can't even get along. And that's because you don't have the fruits of the spirit. You don't possess peace, joy. That's the main one. Most of you don't have peace. Because you keep letting the devil hit your mind. Boom, 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 boom. Instead of dismiss those strongholds. So I'm going to teach you how to dismiss those strongholds. No, I'm not perfect. But I, I finally got it. Why God built me up so strong? I, I really am mentally strong. Sometimes I'm, I scare myself, but I know it's not me. It's the God in me. For years, he kept saying, Deanna, you got to get strong mentally. He said, because where you're going, it's going to be more of a head than, than a heart thing. See, God got the heart. He said, but I got it. I got it. I, I, I want your head to be right. I want you to be renewed because if you're not renewed, you're going to miss it. If you're not renewed, you're going to fail. If you're not renewed, you're going to sway. If you're not renewed... And most of you are not renewed in your mind. I'm sorry. You love the Lord. You do. But you are not renewed. Well, Apostle, how do I get renewed? You got to get in that word. You got to work that word. You got to fast. You got to pray. This thing is for real. A lot of you don't fast and pray. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. You love the Lord and you will attend service. And yes, you will go to Bible study. But on your own, you don't know how to do it. And that's what I'm going to teach you. That's what I do. That's why y'all see me walk in power. That's why y'all see me strong. That's why y'all see me passionate. None of my own. I get in that Bible and I say, God, help me. Jesus, help me. I can't do this without you, God. I cannot do this without you. I need you every day, every moment, every hour. Even when I miss it, God, I need you. Teach me what I was supposed to do. Teach me why I missed it. Teach me how to be strong. Teach me how to last long. Teach me not to fail. A lot of you don't do that. 
and that's 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 praying. And yes, it's gonna cost you some sacrifice. Y'all don't know. I, I barely get sleep, just to be real with you. And, and, and really have lots of energy, so I know it's God. I didn't go to bed to what? I say about two, three this morning. No one had to get up at eight. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. But it didn't matter. I I, I prayed, I prayed, and, and just to be real with you, as you grow with the Lord, you will get more sensitive to the spirit. And, and I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I felt spirits. I said, okay, so, so, something's, something's trying to shift this atmosphere. Because I could feel it. So then you have to go into prayer. A lot of you don't, a lot of you, I'm just going to be honest with you, you're scared of demons. You, but you have to understand, this world, you have two kingdoms. Kingdom of God and the kingdom of the devil. You have to understand that this is a spiritual war. Most of you are trying to, to work a physical war, a spiritual war in the physical and it's not happening. Because it cannot happen. You see, flesh gives birth to flesh, and spirit gives birth to spirit. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So you have to learn how to be spiritually strong. That's why the church is missing it. It's not that we don't love God. It's not that we don't know something of God, but we have not known how to war in the spirit for God with God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And so now your tests and your trials become your enemy. Instead of saying, no, 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 I'm going to let this make me better, not bitter. Come on, somebody, I'm going to let this make me better, not angry. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, you don't hear what I just said. So I'm going to teach you how to stand strong in the Lord. I don't care about numbers. I don't care who come, who don't come tomorrow. I'm going to teach like it's a thousand people up in there. And yes, I'm a live stream it. So I want y'all to be ready. Have you some pencil and paper? Because I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm telling you, God getting me ready. You know, I, I, I feel like I'm in training. And that's what God told me. He says, it's going to be more of a training center, Deanna, than a church. He said, because I want you to train my people. We haven't been trained. And when I say we, because we're a part of, but I, I've, I've been trained, you guys. I couldn't understand why I had to go through so much pain, so much heartache, so much test, so much trial. Some I brought on myself because I, I was disobedient. And, and we're talking about even in little things. Deanna, don't be that one's friend. Deanna, don't do this. De and I had to learn. I had to learn. And I, 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 and I truly believe we learn for each other. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So now I can teach y'all how to stand strong in the Lord. Oh, come on, somebody. Because it, it's mostly a head thing. You think it's a heart thing. It's a head thing. Because it's the way you think. It, it's your thought. Life. The enemy is after your thought life. You know, Josh Myers, I think the best book that she ever wrote, I'm just going to be, it was Battlefield of the Mind. I still have that book. I, I really think you should get that book, The Battlefield of the Mind. That's where the battle is. And most of you losing your mind because of your renew, you're not renewed. How do you get renewed, Apostle? You have to get in that word. You see, here's what's happening. And God showed me this. The, it, preaching can also be kind of like a um, a crutch. Because if, if I'm preaching to you, then I'm not teaching you. How to get in that Bible yourself. And that's how I'm coming. I'm going to teach you how to get in that Bible yourself. How to dissect that Bible yourself. How to use the word of God yourself. How to speak the word of God yourself. And then once you become, once you start speaking that word, you'll see your life change from the inside out. You see, the world teaches you, okay, look pretty on the outside, you know, you get your name brand and all that stuff. And, and you're looking good on the outside, but tore up on the inside. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm just being real, not condescending. It's time for you to get built up in the inside. It's time for you to stand strong because most of you are emotional. Nobody can't tell you that much without you going crazy or oh, come on somebody or, or going off. Come on somebody. It's not like it used to be. People are very offended these days. There's a spirit of offense. There's a spirit of attention. There's a spirit of, of just confusion. There's a spirit of anger and that's not of God because God says my people possess the fruits of the spirit. Well church wears the fruits of the spirit but you can't have the fruits of the spirit if your mind is not renewed. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You know we're going to get tested every day. Every day you're going to get tested to see. Somebody might try to make you angry. Or a situation might come along to where there is a choice that has to be made. Am I going to act this way? Am I going to do this? You have to start learning to be strong and to make good choices. And to be honest with you, the world intended the church. Yes, it did. More people are interested in, um, and I'm just going to be honest with you, gossip. Um, juicy, juicy gossip. Let's just be real. If somebody doing something, sleeping around. Y'all don't even want to be holy no more. And that's what it's going to take. I'm going to tell you what thus said the Lord. You cannot enter the kingdom of heaven if you're not holy. You will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Fornicators, idolatries. Oh, come on somebody, hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So I don't care. And a lot of you, y'all been, been deceived. A lot of you think this. Well, I'm a good person. You can be good all day long and not break the law and not do this and that. 
but are you being obedient to the will of God? Because some of you shacking, come on somebody, hallelujah. Some of you fornicating, come on somebody, hallelujah. Some of you drinking and you know you got a ministry. I'm just being real, come on somebody, because I'm coming real. I don't have time to play games because guess what? Time ticking. While y'all sitting up there, time ticking. Y'all don't see what's getting ready to happen. That's why I'm going to just have to rain. I'm not answering that phone. But I will tell you this. God is going to do what he said to do. And, and, and all you got to do is just stay, 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 stand, 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 God says. Because I promise you, God is going to deliver and God is going to heal you and God is going to reward you and God is going to do what he has said he's going to do. All you got to do is be ready. Be ready to receive because a lot of you are not ready to receive because your mind ain't right. But I'm going to help you through Jesus Christ. I promise you. So I'm going to be live every Saturday, God's spare. Um, and, and all I, I get some, get some paper, have some paper ready. Make sure you prayed up because I, I'm coming with some biblical teaching. Now the first series I'm starting on tomorrow and I'm actually put it on the title as well. I'm starting about soul ties. Um, that's the problem with most people. Most of the time you can't even think cause you're thinking about your ex. Most of the time you can't even think cause you didn't just, you, you, you still thinking about the guy you had sex with six years ago. Cause that was a warlock. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. You wonder why sex stay on your mind? Because guess what? That's a generational curse. Soul tie. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm serious. Because unless all those soul ties are bro broken, you can't receive the Holy Spirit to the full manifestation. That's what's going on. You, you have to be cleansed. You have to be purified. You got to be consecrated. A lot of you don't want to fast. Not just on, on the first of the year. You know, most churches going to have a, a fast. What well, well, you know, they, they starting it now. 21 day fast. Honey, this is a lifestyle. This is a lifestyle. And to be honest with you, I'm guilty of it too. Last year, I, I actually, you know, I fasted. But I was supposed to continue secretly. This year, I realized I got to go back to my lifestyle. It, I got to fast. To be honest with you. Every day. It don't even matter. That's just where I'm at with my anointing. I have to fast. So much stuff come at me. If I don't fast, I won't last. You don't hear what I'm saying. I tell you what God say. So so I pray that you understand what this live is about. It's not just about to get you to tune in. You do, you don't, you don't. Praise God, hallelujah. You don't know what I'm saying. But be strong in the Lord. Be strong. It's time It's time for the body of Christ to grow. It's time for us to walk in the power of God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You know, playing time, play time over with. You don't see how the devil acting fool? That's because the people of God are not walking in power. I'm going to show you how to walk in power. Hallelujah. Because God is getting ready to do something. Oh, hallelujah. I feel like Joshua in this place. You don't hear what I'm saying. And Joshua was a warrior. You don't hear what I'm saying. With a David tweak. And I really feel it. It's time. It's time for us to go to the next level like we've never seen. It's time for us to overtake the enemy. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I thank you. I praise God for you. Go ahead and share and tag and get ready for tomorrow because I promise you, you're going to love it because the Holy Spirit is real. God is real. The power of God is real. The fire of God is real. The anointing of God is real. And it's time to get it back like never before. Hallelujah to his name. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who you are. Uh.